we're going to pick up with Brockton Bay's Celestial Forge by Lord Rustabound. When we left off, the main character was just opening their interdimensional pocket space after becoming a tinkerer after a bad while in college. Right now, the cube contained a duffel bag, mattress, work desk, and small bookcase, two storage trunks, two storage trunks, and an old office chair. There's also a battery lantern on the desk, since the lighting level in this area left something to be desired. At least it was dark enough that it was possible to sleep in here. And the place has less temperature and odor issues than my own apartment. I wasn't here just to get away from my living conditions. Aside from the entryway, there was a single door on the left side of the cube. Before I headed that way, I set up the crude door bar I had built earlier. One downside was I couldn't close the door while I was inside. That was probably a safety measure, since I didn't know what would happen if the door I used was open when I tried to get out, or worse, destroyed. I had no intention of getting stuck in here forever, but I wasn't going to let anyone wander in behind me. Between my locked, bolted, and chained apartment door, and the jungle steel wedging this door shut as far as I could get it, I was reasonably secure. They want to stop most of the capes in the city, but I was likely off their radar by virtue of not doing anything superhero related. I walked through the inner door into my workshop. It wasn't exactly what you'd expect when you heard the words tinker and workshop. The place wasn't bedecked with the blistering technology of a science hero. It wasn't even a top quality manufacture manufacturing facility. It was more of what you got what you would get from a high school metal shop. There were tools and machinery, but it was fairly basic stuff. Not even a proper numeric control lath. I was lucky I had a manufacturing component in my college course, otherwise I'd be completely lost here. My high school had phased out shop class long ago, so it was only thanks to a single college class offered more as a formality than that I knew what I was doing. Fortunately, the place was stocked with materials and safety equipment. Unless I wanted to work with exotic alloys or bring in high-tech equipment, the whole place was designed so I wouldn't have to go out for anything. That was that was a very good thing. I didn't know if it was true, but there were rumors about people who triggered as tankers or buying random stuff like loads of silly putty, old macros, or cleaning chemicals only to get exposed by various agencies or gangs on the lookout for behavior like that. I had my doubts since that seemed like it would generate loads of false positives, but who knows how good the thinkers, the thinkers working for people like that were. I didn't want to end up exposed, especially not with my powers at their current level. So the fact that I had a private, personal, and well-stocked workshop was a blessing. It was just too bad I couldn't build anything worth a damn. But what I had produced after my work hours over the last week was nothing more than curiosities. Honestly, it had been more more about trying to get used to the workshop with this kind of equipment again. The closest thing I'd made to a useful tool was that door jam. And that was just a matter of reassuring, measuring correctly, and working the right tools. I had rough, I had rough tinker facilities, but I didn't have any tinker knowledge. That is, I didn't have any yet. I closed my eyes and felt out the potential extent of my power. Over 300 flares of lightning burned into my mind, all but one completely beyond my reach. The only moat I could touch was the single piece representing my workshop. The embers were arranged into 12 general constellations itch along a different theme, but I could barely gleam what it was at the moment. These were what I was working towards. These were the reasons I hadn't given up and sold off to the Proctorate. These were my tinker powers. Every one of them were represented some level of crafting ability, power, knowledge, or resource. 
I could just barely feel them now, but I knew how strong they were. Even the weakest among them was significant in the high steers were world shaking. These were hero powers. More than that, these were hero powers, powers on the level of the first legendary and ultimate tinker. Powers that would let a person be the kind of technology superhero that used to appear in comic books, not the stripped down nonsense that was currently running around. There, but for the grace of God and all that. My urge had been slowly building up in the week since I got my powers. It was gradual at first, but had accelerated recently. Soon I would have a chance to link to another of these points of light. Constellations shifted and changed, so I had no idea what I would be able to reach. Or even if I had built up would be strong enough for whatever spark swung close at the time. This was the first time it had happened, but being able to feel it coming was incredible. I was lucky to have the level of understanding of my powers that I had been blessed with. Like pretty much everyone in school, I had taken electives on parahuman studies. There were rumors that Cape, that the Cape population of the city took the horses and their secret identities, and the younger members of New Wave showed up occasionally. They were cool horses that everyone was interested in, getting a chance to learn about the history of Capes, Cape impact on society, and theories on how powers worked. With the insight I'd gained since starting, I could say that most of what they were teaching was pure crap. That may have been in, that may have been intentional since people trying to self-invoke a triggerment was a nightmare in terms of self-inflicted harm. Some of the other stuff was so far off the mark that I had to wonder if there was an intentional attempt to conceal it. Passenger theory had barely been touched on, and that was mostly to dismiss it. I kind of understood. It seemed ridiculous, and it was a lot more likely that anyone who thought their powers came from an outside intelligence was crazy rather than uniquely insightful. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop there again. Uh, but it's been seven and a half minutes, and I need to go. Uh, and we'll pick this up later. But thank you for listening, if anyone's even been listening.